The risk associated with contact sports has become a growing concern across America today. We take a look at the effect these sports can have on the brain and what we can do to help. We interviewed CHS Athletic Director Mark Howard on his thoughts on how head injuries have changed contact sports and what has been done to make sports safer for athletes. I think a lot of sports nowadays, and especially in football since it is a contact sport, have done a lot to try to prevent, um, not just based on what has been found before, but because the head is just, a, the brain is a very delicate thing. A recent study was carried out comparing healthy athletes to those of the same age who suffered from a concussion 30 years ago. The results showed that those who experienced head trauma had symptoms similar to those of early Parkinson's disease, as well as memory and attention deficits. We asked current CHS football player Eric Robeson about his concussion and whether he thinks enough action is being done to prevent head injuries in contact sports. Better, like checking of the um, air pressure in the helmets could help, um, but it's football. You know, there's going to be big hits and concussions are going to happen no matter what. So you really can't fully take them out of out of the game. Honestly, I think contact sports have come a long way in in that particular regard. And I think a prime example is the NFL and what they're doing right now with their concussion studies. And going back and they're finding because of research done on former NFL players who are now deceased, they're doing research on their brains and finding out that in fact a lot of these guys did have, um, especially when they passed away early, they've, they've had concussions and they happened earlier in their career. Technology in diagnosing and treating concussions has come a long way, but there is always room for improvement. It is imperative that athletes are properly diagnosed because if an athlete who is recovering from an initial concussion sustains another concussion, permanent neurological dysfunction or death could occur. I think probably education is the biggest thing that we can do. If we can educate our coaches and just the public in general, moms and dads, about um, the potential of, of concussions and us doing everything that we can, whatever that means, whether it's buying our kids helmets to wear, I'm talking about at home, uh, anything we can to protect their helmet in, in the form of some kind of helmet device, I think we need to do that. Remember Titans, rules are only there to protect you. This is Matt, Titan TV.